there, welcome to Dundee Piano. We're going to have a look at Another Love by Tom O'Dell. It has been requested by a couple of my students. I think it's getting more popular these days. So, here's a very quick introduction to how the piano part goes. And then we'll look at the chords on this hand, the left. A bit of melody on the right, for what the vocals do. And how these come together. I've got sheet music as well, which I'll refer to. But first of all, let's just look at some of the chord shapes on the left. So if we find our low C, from middle C, we're going down an octave to this C here. Pinky there, five, three, one. So it's great, because this song in the original key starts in C. So we're going to go from our C chord. Skip up. There's your basic four chords. Okay, we'll look at them. Again, you've got your C major, 5-3-1, and then where your middle was, that's where your pinky goes, so it's an E minor. Yeah, so you skip up a key, that's your E minor. Now the third one is A minor, just moving up, so your pinky's on A. Middle happens to be middle C again. Back to E minor. And then the fourth chord is a B minor. We can do B and F sharp to give that sound. And then you're back to C. Yeah? So the verse kind of goes round and round those four chords. Yeah? So just practice doing that. Here's a bit of pedal. play what he sings in the verse. That's basically where it's going, okay? So the melody is going between E and C. It's almost like an E minor type of tune here. If you look at the scale for E minor, we're using the first five, six notes. Now, because there are six keys and we've only got five fingers, we have to do a little, a little bit of movement. So you either want to go to the, to the high part with the C or the low part with the E. Yeah? But it depends on the tune. So listen to where the tune goes from G in the middle there. Going up, then a bit higher. Then the F sharp. the sheet music for this because I've kind of transcribed roughly what he's singing so it's written down because I don't know it that well so I want to just double check I'm doing the right notes so from the G step up more G's more G's again then F sharp so G is quite a key note in this melody in every bar there's a G oh yeah yeah, exactly every bar there's a G. So look for your G key, okay? Probably put your middle on it because we're equally going higher or lower than G. So get your middle on G. Mm -hmm. Good, right. As soon as you practice that a few times, then we're going to have a look at putting them together. Position for chord, position for melody. Again. That goes over the page, yeah. Right. So there's some things to practice. Chords left, melody right. Looking for your G, actually. G is a good key for both hands, because G is here on this thumb, and G is here on this middle. Right, so go over and over that as you do with your practice, get those fingers working, hands together. Now we're going to have a look forward at the chorus, which is also four chords, but it's a slightly different four. You've got the C major seven, G, E minor, Three of the 
same chords with one switch, if you like. Yeah. So left hand, C major 7th, we've got another video about major 7th so you can have a look at, and then the G, ba -da -da, D minor, and then the B minor. Yeah, so that's kind of fairly straightforward. I've brought it down just to two keys for this accompaniment, rather than the full chord. Now, melody. Instead of G being the key note, we're going two keys up to B, which is the main note here. So it's basically the same thing but higher up. And it really uses those chords and elements broader, louder, higher, lower, etc. But that's the kind of song in a nutshell. And you can get the sheet music there and then you can watch back on the video to see what keys you need. If you have any questions, comments, just pop them below. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.